We provide over 16,000 free hours of therapy every year, this covering conductive education therapy, speech and language therapy, physiotherapy and occupational therapy. Philip was born at 28 weeks prem. He was fine up until four weeks and then they discovered that he had a condition called hydrocephalus which is a, a build-up of fluid on the brain. To control this, he had to have an operation on his brain to fit a shunt, which drains the fluid from his brain round through into his stomach, and that just dissolves into his body. He was 10 months old, and he was diagnosed with four limb spastic cerebral palsy. Hello, my name is Philip, and this is my name of my life. Philip's condition worries everybody who knows him. Because it's so unstable, you don't know if he's going to have a good day or whether it's going to turn into a bad night. It has happened to us where we've needed to act quick. We were down Oxford. As you imagine, him getting rushed to hospital, being in E&E, them explained to us that our Philip shouldn't have stopped working in his have operation. If he didn't have it, he could die. You don't know how he's going to come out of that operation. She did say that he could be even more brain damaged. He came through it, just gone back to school, happened again. Absolutely devastated. He's very drowsy. His eyes will start rolling back. He gets severe headaches and a projectile vomit. Because if you don't act quick enough, he could die with it. Every morning when you wake up and you say, oh, Philip, that is going through your head. It's a worry. It's an everyday worry. When old Philip is poorly, he, he screams. I mean, he screams the place down. When he's screaming, it's quite hard to understand. Some parents with kids with disability don't have that option. They've just got to guess what they think is the problem with their child. When old Philip was first born, I don't think me and Diana had seen our Christine and Samantha for two years. Guilt? <sighs> a lot of guilt. I felt really guilty. If you imagine some child is screaming constantly, could be in the middle of the night, it's making your whole house up. When somebody tries to ask you, what's it like? I always say, do you have children? Can you remember when your child was small? He's crying, screaming all the time, and you're up and down, up and down all night. You've got to carry them everywhere. Well, Im imagine that as a bigger virgin, because Philip's quite big. That's what it's like with old Philip. He's not like a baby, but you're feeding him, changing him. You're doing everything that you would do with a small baby to someone who's eight year old. On a good week, I might get him out of school once a week. On a hectic week, it could be up to three times a week. I'm getting him out of school to take him to appointments. When he is poorly, everything just gets dropped straight down the hospital. It's a stressful time for me and Diane because you think to yourself, how is he going to react? It's an emotional time, especially when you see your son. He needs a needle put in and he's crying his eyes and screaming, you know. Get you fills you up with tears because you just want to, yourself to go through the pain so he's not going through that pain. If I had the opportunity to change places with old Philip, I would do that. Equipment's very sought after. It's very hard to get for him. First wheelchair, we waited over a year. But they keep on putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. You've got to fight for it. Physios come to the house no more. We don't get no respite from social services at all. Never have done. Never have done. Philip received loads of loads of stretching for all of her limbs. He's got a uh, four limb cerebral palsy. I think she works fantastic with old Philip. I don't really have a favourite exercise. I just like doing it when they, even if I don't want it. Do it, I have to do it. I wish he could have my body and I could have his. For him to feel what it would be like to walk, to feel what it would be like to, to run, to feel what it would be like is to clap his hands. He just has more stability when he's sitting. He has more control with his breathing and his talking. His hand control is a lot more self-assured. He fills our life with so much happiness. Even though you can see him struggling and you just want to take that away from him. But because he's got such an infectious 
personality, his smile is just to die for. I love every single person in my family, even if my brother gave me a bit living. <laughs> we need your help. As a local children's charity, every penny you give to us is spent here in the Northeast.